In this video, we're going to start our Simulation Express example one by opening the SOLIDWORKS part handle. Once this part is open, we need to inspect the part. When you're designing these components, you obviously have a good understanding of how they're going to be affixed in 3D space or to other components and where your loads are going to be. If you are importing a model that was not modeled by yourself, you need to have a good understanding of what the model is and where these fixtures and loads are going to be placed. With this model, we have four holes. Two of them are blind, two of them are passing, but all four of them are going to be tapped. So this part is going to be bolted down to another structure. Because we have limited fixture availability inside of Simulation Express, I'm gonna to have to assume that this face and all four holes are fixed. This will give me a good rigid base structure to analyze the rest of the model. Now, in reality, the entire face would not be able to be fixed, we could bond it to another component, do a couple other things in the full simulation package. But again, we have to work with the limitations that we have inside of the Express product. The next thing we need to understand is where our load is going to be placed. When we're placing a load in Simulation Express or the full simulation package for that matter, we need to give it a face. Now, in this case, we don't want to select this entire split face here. We actually want to create a new sketch that allows us to split the face in the area that we want. So I'm going to start a new sketch on the top plane, and I'm going to use my ellipse tool and simply sketch an ellipse in here. Now, the dimensions don't really matter for what we're doing, but we need to make sure that we do place a few relations, such as a vertical relation here, to make sure that everything is symmetric. We also want to make sure that the center point, this point, and the origin are horizontal to each other. So this ensures and allows us to create the split that is symmetric about the origin on our part. Once we have the sketch, either from your Features tab or your Surface tab, you want to go to your Curves dropdown and to Split Line. We want to use a projection type using our sketch and select the faces which we want to split. Once we select OK, you'll notice that we've actually divided this up into three separate faces now. And as we rotate around, we've actually divided the top as well because this entire side piece is a single face. This doesn't matter, we haven't changed any of the geometry. And if we hide our edges, you'll notice that everything looks the same. This merely gives us a selection that we can use once we start our Simulation Express project. At this point in time, it's a good idea to save your handle with an incremental number as you go along to follow along with this project. 